Oh, good. Well, guys, far away, please. Yes, and Sadio looked like a player who was absolutely bursting to get on the pitch, and then he made a difference for you yet again. Yeah, it helps when you have such a quality um, on the bench to, to bring on. Yes, Sadio could have started today, of, of course, but we have. Um, I wanted to have a free decision for, for Tuesday, actually. Don't think too often and too much about these games, but when two players are back from injuries like Sadio and Fabinho, you don't think they can play two games. Should play. Can, yes, if you have to, but should play. And the quality of the other boys is just too, too big that you have to push. Uh, somebody through, so it was perfect, I think, for Sadio to get today a few minutes. But it looked like he was ready. Yes. You, you said on television that you felt first half uh, things weren't quite right in terms of your shape and the gaps between the lines. Look, the thing is. Um, it's easy to talk about um, the wind and stuff like this, but on the pitch, the boys have to to deal with it, and um, and we we. <laughs> We played for sure two, three, four um, long balls too many, and especially the, the formation was not prepared for that. So we didn't, we were not there for the second ball, stuff like this. We, we didn't obviously feel um, that we can play the balls through the, the smaller gaps. Um, that was the wind, but um, still, it would be still right. Positioning was then not exactly like it should have been. For example, you saw um, pretty obvious. Um, Transposition first half, it was constantly, not constantly, but too often deep and wide instead wide and high, um, which we changed um, in this specific formation with their 4 4 2 defending and Cantwell pretty much reacting on him like in a man marking system. So that gives so many different options then immediately. Um, then we obviously our midfield was sometimes surprised by the long balls of our centre halves and we just couldn't push up early enough or quick enough and so we didn't win the second balls and all these kind of things so just you need to get used to to circumstances and after one 45 minutes we we knew what how it feels and a um, few more informations from us in half time and we could improve and that was obvious um, obviously much better than second half so many counter press situations where we won the balls back, where we put them under pressure, kept them under pressure, um, and scored obviously a wonderful goal. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, can I ask you about the big news that uh, is there about Manchester City's Champions League? Band? What's your thoughts on it? Yeah, it was a shock when I heard it, when I saw it. Um, somebody sent me, I think, the, 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 the headline, and um, yeah, the only thing I have no idea how these kind of things, um, how it works, how it happens. The only thing what I can say, that, and as a football coach, these Man City um, under Pep Guardiola, since I here play sensational football, um, and yeah, yeah, that's how it is. I I always admired what they do, what he's doing, what they do, and um, that will not end with in this moment, obviously. But I can imagine it's hard. It's really hard in the moment for the sports people. Um, you trust your people; they tell you it's all fine. And obviously, the UEFA sees that slightly different. And uh, yeah, now they have to deal with it. I have no idea what will happen next. But people will look back <coughs> at, at the 2013-14 title, which covers that period, or look back at last year's title, and they'll say, well. No, I cannot say. I don't. I know, but I cannot say anything about it. I have really no idea what they what it was exactly. I saw now we prepared the game, so I saw the headline. I saw a few things. What what was said? Um, obviously, um, City will appeal, and I, I can imagine there will come much more things up because um, much more informations probably. And um, but in the moment I don't have more, um, and I can imagine that people will talk about that. But that's it. In the moment, to be honest, I, I feel for for Pep and, and the players because it's oof, wow, they did for sure nothing wrong. They just played football and sensational football. Wherever Pep was, he he helped each league to 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 improve football and. Um, but then in the end, we all have to respect some rules, and I have no idea if they did or not. But obviously, the UEFA sees it, sees it like this that they didn't, and yeah, then we will see what happens. Will it make your job more difficult next season in the Premier League? Since, well, as things stand, City just concentrate on domestic football. 
maybe a bit tougher than it has been. <laughs> Okay, that's interesting. Didn't think that far, so far, but um, so I have no idea about next season. So um, what that will mean, yeah. But um, yeah, we will see as well. No, thanks. Thanks, guys. For Thank you. Thank okay. You. Thank you very much. Cheers. Uh, we don't do the Mondays here. <laughs>